Welcome to my Playing with the Dev series. Today I'm chatting with Grimcore about how the dev's side projects can impact the game, just like Jonathan recently working on armor stands, mini bosses coming to the game, female bad guys, NPCs, and more. And I know that a lot of people are talking about all the money and everything, but we we didn't see any we had to we didn't get anything from Steam for like the first three months or something. Mm-hmm. Because that's the normal procedure from Steam. They they pay out like every three months. Uh, I mean, when the money comes in, they pay out after three or two or three months or something like that. Um, I don't know that Richard and Henrik they uh, they're not rich mm-hmm. yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's we're we're still just working. We're still just doing something we love. And I think that's important. As long as the passion is there, yeah, uh, it's always going to be fine. And that's awesome that you love what you do so much that you go home and do more of it in the evening. Even if that's... it's not Valheim, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, but that's basically just me trying to um, evolve my skills and, and just keep up to date on what's cool and what's not cool and, and just see if, I don't know, I just don't want to... Uh, for me personally, I don't want to stagnate and not continue to grow. Yeah. Uh, so that's basically, I, I mean, just with the the Hearth and Home trailer, when we released Early Access, I sat at home and like, okay, let's let's pitch this. Let's do something for Netflix. We we're, we're, we might become huge. Can we do something with HBO or Netflix? So I started like painting these uh, these frames of um, anime. Vikings, really? And I went to Richard. Yeah, yeah. So I did all that on my spare time because I was like, "We we need to do this. I need to pitch this to Richard." And and luckily he he was on the same page. Like, yeah, we should actually do this. And we we got a hold of Brick, and they helped us with the Hearth and Home trailer, and they made everything so good, so nice. Uh, and without without the success of Valheim, we wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, and that's. That's really, really amazing that I was a- actually able to art direct and be be a part of that project, at all. That must have been an interesting project too. It was. It it, it actually was because uh, trying to find an art style for for that that doesn't really that is a little bit of, of a disconnect from Valheim. <laughs> Here's a secret. <laughs> or oh, wait, can I say that? Go ahead, okay. I'll cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want you to edit stuff that I say. It's totally okay just if I blurp and do stuff. Okay. Um, I'll take the, the repercussions next week, I guess. <laughs> it's not my no, fault. Uh, I didn't do uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but one of the things that we, we were a little bit afraid of, what uh, the Hearth and Home, uh, that... The expectations and what do people actually expect from us now because it's going to be so difficult to surprise people and keep up the uh, uh, keep I don't know expectations basically yeah um, but that was such a nice um, it was like a, a key to unlocking how to try to hype it up but also keep the expectations correctly because when we were doing the hearth and home trailer with Brick, we hadn't actually really started production on Hearth and Home yet. Well, that's tricky. So we didn't know, so that was kind of a nice good thing to like keep some, do something interesting without even knowing what we were putting into the Hearth and Home. Uh, and uh, I don't know, it just became such a nice marriage between the Valheim world and the Valheim uh, don't know the cartoon or what me series t- trailer basically mm-hmm. um, but then like I said with a door a lot of the inspiration mm-hmm. came from also like having uh, the hearth and home trailer already done mm-hmm. <laughs> but also the pressure of like oh we're getting a door okay we actually need to put in that door people are going to be disappointed it's a happy little accident right as Bob Ross would say yes it's Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
fine. We'll just put in some happy little trees. It'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many things like how how we work is. I that's something we actually talked about yesterday, Bob Ross. Uh, that's kismet. Accidents and how it actually pushes you forward and makes you think of things in in uh, in a new light and and how you can improve upon things so that's something we're taking with us going forward uh one of richard's commits in our uh tortoise branch uh, mercury mercurial uh tortoise thing we push up in branches basically so so you don't so you guys can't sneak peek on what we're doing <laughs> Because you know one somebody would find a way to do it. <laughs> Someone will find a way, but we're we're working on that as well. Um, but one of his comments was like Bob Rossing the hell out of this certain <laughs> thing. <laughs> that was a awesome. nice little comment. <laughs> That's awesome. Everybody should Bob Ross stuff. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. That's when you find the small little things that matter. Right, and you found so many different ways to be creative with stuff too. So I'm wondering, is George ever gonna become like his brute dad? <laughs> hmm? I yeah, uh, that's actually kind of interesting as well because George uh, was something I created uh, way back in the day. And for people who don't know, it's it's a, a small mockumentary, nature mockumentary. Is that is that something? Yeah, it's it's amazing. I'll put the link in the description. It's amazing. Welcome to the wondrous creatures of Valheim, with me, David Erberer. This is George. And George is a Grey Dwarf, a lost Grey Dwarf in the Black Forest of Valheim. George has lost himself about 30 meters from his parents. With no sense of direction, he gets even more lost. George's mother, the tribe shaman, is very angry waving her hand in discontent of her partner. The brute father responds by showing his strength, pushing her. She screams at him to stand over on the other side of the stump, which he does for a brief moment. But now he wants to go back to standing where he was before. The mother angrily struts away, indicating very passive-aggressively that the brute father needs to find George. The father is slightly pissed off. He calls forth his most unintelligent children, screaming that he cannot be fussed going out to search for George. He tells them, you three will not survive because you are not quite right in the brain. You are dim-witted and smell of rotten bark. The three decline the offer, and the father needs to pee. The mother tries to rub her back against her young, marking the ones she hates the most. George is forgotten in less than two minutes. He then decides to explore and become a mighty brute like his father. In this mini-series, we will follow him across the lands of Valheim. Join us next time for Wondrous Creatures of Valheim. I'm David Urban Murderer. And uh, so, so we have George, and we there are plans there or there are ideas for George. Uh, let's say I have a Blender file with uh, with George. So he's not ready looking to go. like George. Uh, oh. 
Intriguing. Uh, but it's still uh, very, very, very early uh, to say anything about that. Because it's kind of fun, because when I went, made the uh, the Valheim saga, uh, Alox and I, there's a, there, in the end of that, there's the uh, special end credits where... Right. Where you, where you see George again. I didn't notice right that. Now, what? Oh, really? If you wait, there's an end credit scene. <laughs> I have to go look at it again. I don't think I saw that. All oh, right, right. Okay, so you didn't see the end credits, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go but look. There is, but th here's the situation right now, then, because it's a little bit like Marvel and Sony situation with Spider-Man. Uh -huh. So... Iron Gate technically owns the George uh, mockumentary and stuff. The George writes, right? But I, but the Locks and I is my YouTube channel, with a small hint to That's George in that. True, true. So, so I don't there know are, how the situation. There are custody issues afoot. <laughs> mm hmm. So we'll see how we have to do. I guess I'm Sony. No, I guess they are Sony and I'm Marvel in this case. And we have to find some kind of uh, way how to use and utilize George in this uh, specific <laughs> situation. They've got all the rights, by the way. <laughs> but were they happy with George and his story? Uh, I mean, you, with you the mean, product itself, the the video, because I thought it was very. I mean, they must have liked it enough. They put it out on the channel, right? Oh yeah, but that was basically. I think I did the George video within the first three months of me coming to Iron Gate when it was just me, Henrik, and Richard working together. Right. Um, so when I started, I think one of the ideas was I was going to be the community manager and the generalist. Um, so this was one of my, like, giving it a try to see if I can do something fun with a video. Uh, and I made George, <laughs> which, which is a little bit, I don't think a lot of people have seen George or, or know about George, oh, but he's well, there. Well, I'll be pimping George out then, because George is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's freaking... Hard. Yeah, I was telling the guys on the server about it, and they're like, what? I was like, oh my god. Because something came up in stream one day about David Attenborough, or whatever the real guy's yeah. name in it is, and somebody's like, somebody <laughs> should do something. I was like, oh my god, you haven't seen this? This is... David... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... David... David Attenborough. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a good guy. That was awesome. That was I'd awesome. love to do more with George, and I have something in the works uh, for George, both uh, may maybe in-game someday. Um, oh. We just have to have time for that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's if that happens, it's just going to be there, uh, not in the patch notes as well. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that makes me think of like other things, too. Like, um, Well, for one... Like you had mentioned many bosses, which I've mentioned before, and I'm like, that would be amazing to find those everywhere. But, and like, what could they be? What could they do? What could they give you? I mean, it's just so many, so many thoughts. But then too, mm. finding like Easter eggs and like just fun little things like George or, you know, things that we don't know about that you just stumble upon randomly or rarely, you know, and you're like, what mm. is that? Like, are there things hidden in the game that, like... There's one thing that I'm, I'm toying with. There's an idea bubbling in my head. If we go to the... Uh, to the spawner over here. Okay, I uh, know about the statue in there. Yeah, because that's who, something who that is... But who is this? It, is this the statue the exactly. same that's in the swamp? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not the same. So this, uh, in my mind, right now, I'm not saying this is uh, canon or anything. Right, right, just thoughts. But in my mind, this is an idol of the uh, the Great Dwarf Mother. Uh, oh. And somewhere, there has to be a mother somewhere. And I would like that mother to be one of the mini-bosses. 
I think there is way too little uh, mother figures or, or female um, antagonists in the game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, because right now there's just motor, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just uh, her. Well, oh, we've got like female Draugr uh, archers as well. Are there really? I hadn't yep. noticed that. They're pretty closer. rare. Uh, I think we bumped them up sometime, or maybe we didn't do it just yet, and I'm not really sure. But there are female Draugr archers. I had not uh, noticed or seen, or I guess maybe it's not there yet. But I think this of... really. Go ahead. Yeah. No, they've got, like they've got a big uh, long dress, and they've got like uh, big wavy, uh, scrawny kind of hair going on. Uh, scruffy, not scrawny, scruffy hair. I'm pretty sure I have not seen something like that because that sounds like it would stand out. Let's see. Is no? it maybe I'm gonna go I'm gonna Google? Although uh, honestly, I don't like being in the swamps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I so uh, <laughs> I kill them immediately. <laughs> Try to get the heck out of there and in my crypt. <laughs> Wait, I can't find on Google a single image of a female archer. I mean, what? I've not seen one, I don't think. Where are... Oh. What is this? Where are my archers? Oh well. There's supposed to be a female archer. Yep, I cannot find one on Google right now. So maybe it's not <laughs> actually there yet? Or people it should be. It? I know that Eric has a spawner uh, placed out somewhere uh, where there are female Draugr. And in some Draugr uh, villages, there should be female archers as well. Maybe I haven't noticed that they're female. Uh, that could be it, because they're kind of bloated, <laughs> like the males. Maybe it's not obvious. I'm sure that if other people have noticed, they'll let us know. For sure. I Hopefully. Think of... uh, uh... But I, yeah. I think of the shaman as female. Uh, I do too, definitely. But that's also because uh, George. And, and I was going <laughs> to say it's not just because of George. <laughs> Although that <laughs> definitely reinforced it in my head. <laughs> but especially the fooling one, right? Because it's kind of like, well, I mean, I was going to say witch doctor, but that could be male. But I don't know why. Is is the fooling one wearing a dress? Uh, he or she is wearing some kind of robe, I think, okay. or something. Uh, I remember, because that's the first model that Lisa worked on uh, when she came into the company. Uh, maybe she put a little bit more female touch on it. But I would actually say it looks more like a the okay. So one of the first on my in, uh, Twitter account, there is a picture of a very very early concept of a the uh, fibbling shaman, and that was a male. But then we decided to not make a new model, but just try to take the fibbling model and uh, remodel it a little bit. But yeah, I'd say I would say that the shaman is a woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess technically they could be it, but it seems like. But who knows? Thing. Maybe they're all just female and male at the same time and lay, lay eggs. I don't know. Right. I I could be. I don't know. I don't know that I would want to know that level of detail. <laughs> The fueling <laughs> biology by David Attenborough. I did figure out that. But no, definitely more female representation would be nice because I I really like female bad guys. I think uh, I don't know. I just like the idea of more female bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we can't actually put in more good guys because <laughs> but we don't have any good guys. But you guys are going to add some more NPCs, right? Or no? 
Uh, ooh. Oh, thought, oh, you almost had me there. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that I heard that there's some coming. All right. Coming. Uh, what? What? Okay. Who did you hear this from? <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> I need say. Need to talk to this person. <laughs> so, can we talk in pig Latin? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I think NPCs will come to the game if we if we if we can find a purpose for uh, said uh, NPC, some kind of purpose somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, but if if, it, if we can find a good way to implement them and it doesn't feel too too wonky, I think we'll have NPCs, maybe. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> Possibly. Potential. There is potential. Theoretically. If it's good enough. Yeah, theoretically. <laughs> yeah. Hypothetically. It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. Uh, the no you, you know, the normal answers. Exactly. The political answers. Yep. And I know this is all just like you and I talking and chatting. This isn't like official stamp on it statement of anything. No, it's kind of yeah. Well, yeah, I would say I'm I'm trying to represent Iron Gate as best as I can. Okay, I was trying to give you an out there, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, right. Well, okay. Yeah, this is not official at all. We're we're having. Uh, it's Fika. No, but to be honest, yeah. <laughs> it's Fika. Anything goes during Fika. That's how no, you get the think... answers, right? <laughs> yeah, that is. That uh, that's actually how we do a lot of the designing is during Fika. Uh, depends on when we actually sit down and have our Fika. If it's at three o'clock, it's just going to be a lot of nonsense. <laughs> right. But if it's uh, if it's a good Fika time or a coffee time, then then good ideas tend to come, or at least problem solving tends to happen. At least. Makes sense. So, I know that we have been here quite a bit longer than you had planned, and I want to be respectful of your time, and I appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to. Like, this was really, really nice, and uh, I'm definitely up for this more times if you want to. Uh, yeah, that would be amazing. It doesn't have to be... Uh, we don't have to plan too much ahead from my, from my side, I mean... Um, because as long as as it's natural and like that's that's the way I want to have it. Perfect. I I do not like talking to the big guys. I've said this a lot of times before. Like to IGN and PC Gamer, like they're really good. They're really nice. They're they've got these professional uh, interviewers and journalists and everything, and that's their job and that's all cool. But I'd rather have it natural and. Uh, Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. I I mean, I could talk about this forever. And um, you still have not proven that you can jump on the head of a drake. Just saying. It's out there. <laughs> that's, that's, that is a quest for you. <laughs> that is All a gift right. from me to you for you to try out and see if it's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely I died 500 <laughs> times doing this. Robin, you liar. It's all your fault. <laughs> They could have changed the the, the collision box, so I I, oh, I remember doing okay, this uh, okay. like six months ago. So yeah, uh -huh. here comes the footnote. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I remember it was uh, it was actually during one of the playthroughs I did on stream where I jumped onto the Drake. It accidentally just jumped off a cliff and landed on a Drake, <laughs> and I killed him by that. shoving my spear into his head. Oh, so God. did you get this <laughs> recorded? <laughs> Oh yeah, but I didn't save it, so uh, oh. you just have to trust me and do it a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Okay? <laughs> I think I may need some proof. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Robin, thanks so much for dropping by. I appreciate it greatly, friend. And yeah, oh, this it was, was a nice. blast. I'd love to do it again, and I like it, too, being more casual. and like, So I'm like, I want to like go and game and play and hang out. I don't want to just like sit and oh, read absolutely. a list of questions. So... And thanks for uh, being I'd, so I'd love to come hang out and play. Just let me know if you're if you're playing and you guys let me come on and play. So I'd, uh, I'd, I'd be down for that. Absolutely. That'd be amazing. We can totally do that. And uh, 
yeah thanks for all your support and for being so open to the community and um it's amazing it's amazing really love the game that you guys have made our mating and I'm, I'm so excited to see what comes next wait what did we, we... what did you add all to right the it was the it was a deer meat last oh update. okay yes all right so it's yeah, okay. but i was i thought That's you meant like know. a thing or a creature Oh, okay, okay. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god! Oh I was actually gosh. talking about the next update. It's it, next update's gonna be fun. <clears throat> yeah. Let's just say that. You heard fun. it here. It's Miss Lands. <laughs> it's Miss Lands next Friday. Miss Lands. In theaters near you. <laughs> By David Arden. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Robin. I appreciate it so much, and I'll be in touch, friend. Thank you for everything. Uh, it was really fun. The adventure continues next time. Until then. Everybody, happy gaming. Happy gaming.